All right, I uh, thought I'd make a video about niacin uh, whilst undergoing a bit of a niacin flush. If you can see me, skin's gone a bit. No, you can't really see it. But uh, it's the best complexion I've had in a while, anyway. Um, yeah, so niacin, vitamin B3, it's found in uh, dairy, beef, liver, and I think beans, like le le legumes or legumes, however you say it. Um, yeah, and it increases levels of NAD. NAD is a cofactor or coenzyme, I believe it's used in the Krebs cycle, if I remember rightly from my A-level biology. Um, and that produces energy in the cell. And more importantly, the kind of benefit of that is apparently it improves the ability of your immune system to basically work or defend yourself against things like COVID. And there is some, a couple of studies saying that it might be good for depression in higher doses as well. Um, there's a lot of evidence saying it's good for cholesterol, um, reduces by cholesterol, increases the good. Um, so yeah, um, always speak to your doctor before you take it though. Um, I'm not sure whether there's any contraindications with it. Um, yeah, just make sure it's safe for you to take. Um, and you see, when you're flushing, it's a bit uncomfortable. Um, if you take too much too soon, your body gets saturated and you get really hot skin. And it goes blotchy, it feels a bit like sunburn. Um, but then you feel quite good afterwards. So, you know, there's a protocol where you take um, niacine, then you have an infrared sauna, and then you take charcoal to get rid of kind of the heavy metals in your body, I believe. I don't know if that's any good or if that's scientifically based, but it might be worth looking into. Um, but yeah, when you start off, get 25 milligrams or 50 milligram tablets and then just start off with, have them with food as well. Otherwise, it can't upset your stomach. So 25 mil ideally 25 milligrams with your breakfast, 25 milligrams your lunch, another one for, with your dinner. And then the next day, do 50, 50, 25. And then the day after, do 75, 75, 50 and just keep up on it and see what your tolerance is. But a lot of people say work up to a thousand milligrams. Um, but yeah, just see what works for you. If, if you feel any any better, any more energy with it. But yeah, I um, only on day four took two hundred fifty milligrams. That's um, made me kind of flush and maybe a bit hot. So yeah, but it's um, there's a lot of research on it. I'll put a couple of links in the description to the video. Um, but yeah, it's, it's uh, getting a lot of attention because of its potential to help with COVID and probably because Joe Rogan, the legend that is Joe Rogan, he does intravenous NAD. So the kind of poor man's version of that would be to, um, well, you can supplement NAD, just consuming a tablet of it, but um, that's dead expensive as well. So the kind of poor man's version is niacin or vitamin B3. Um, yeah, consult your doctor. Laters.